Starting out on your own financial journey can be a daunting task for even the strongest of us. After all, you have accumulated a lot of debt and now you need to manage your finances on your own without any support. Well, there are things that can help you in navigating through this difficult task. Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to tell you about some money tips that are absolutely necessary for new grad nurses. So without further ado, let's get into it. A wide variety of goods and services offer discounts in price throughout the year for registered nurses, even when it's not nurses week. It certainly won't hurt to inquire about and take advantage of these savings available to healthcare workers. There are certain cellular service providers like Verizon and AT&T that provide special price reductions for nurses and their families. Discounts are frequently made available to nurses in stores that sell scrubs as well. Nurses who are interested in finding a list of discounts available to them in 22 might try searching for one on healthjob.org. This website features a long list of businesses that provide nurse discounts on a variety of products including eyewear, footwear, and bedding, amongst other things. Another website that provides exclusive discounts for members of the medical community, such as nurses, is GovX.com, which provides these discounts on over 700 different products. After living the life of a college student and subsiding on and subsisting on ramen noodles for all three meals of the day, receiving that first paycheck would feel like winning the jackpot in comparison to how difficult it was to make ends meet. Do not make a large purchase such as a new house or car right away if you're concerned about your personal finances. Instead, you should put more emphasis on other duties such as paying off college loans or arranging the finances of your household. You will find that many of your new nurse colleagues have already committed themselves to take out lavish loans. Steer clear of the financial pitfalls that they are falling into. The allocation of your money on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis can be planned out with the use of a budget. According to experts, budgeting is just communicating with your money and telling it what to do. Some individuals, upon first glance at a budget, mistakenly believe that will prevent them from spending money. On the other hand, we consider having a budget to be a green light that allows us to make financial purchases. Avoid putting yourself in situations that could potentially lead to tension and anxiety, such as living paycheck to paycheck and not knowing if you have enough money to pay for things. When you have a budget, you will always be aware of whether or not you're able to afford the things you are considering. Have you given any thought to the variety of financial institutions to which you're indebted? Think about how much extra cash you would have each month if you didn't have to worry about paying off those loans. It is not unusual for a new nurse to have financial obligations such as college loans, credit card debt, and auto payments, among other things. It is possible for you to find yourself in a situation in which a significant portion of your newly discovered monthly income is being sent to various other individuals or organizations in the form of payments. It will be less expensive to plan your meals and purchase your groceries than it will be to eat in the cafeteria. If you don't have food packed from home, especially for night shift workers when the cafeteria might be closed, your only alternative may be to order from DoorDash or Grubhub, which comes with a lot of additional costs. By purchasing some meal prep containers and planning dinners that will make excellent lunch leftovers the next day, nurses can save money on meals. Hey, just try doing it once a week to begin with and see how it goes if this sounds too hard and unrealistic. Your budget can significantly improve by cutting out even one large cafeteria meal per week. Now, it's simple to forget about retirement preparation during orientation. It's frequently tossed at you without any thinking. Don't forget to register for your retirement plan by visiting your benefits site as well. One of the most rewarding adult financial decisions you can make simply takes a few minutes of your time to sign up for. The majority of hospitals have excellent retirement plans and a frequent perk is a 100% match on your contributions up to 3%. If you earn $100,000 and contribute 3% of your income to your retirement account, you will earn $3,000 per year. With a 100% match, your hospital will contribute an additional $3,000 to your account, bringing the total to $6,000. Now, nearly half of respondents to the Federal Reserve Board's survey of household economics and decision-making said that they couldn't afford a $400 emergency bill. To pay for it, they would either need to sell something or borrow the money. The usual advice is to have three to six months worth of expenses saved up. If you must, start with a more modest objective, but make sure you have something. You can never predict when a car may break down or when a medical emergency will occur. Avoid finding yourself without the means to fix your heater when it goes down in the middle of winter. So that is all the time we have for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.